Madlozi ya kuluma na we Idlozi ni ya buma Hello everyone and welcome to the one-on-one -on -one sessions with Coco Musare and I'm your host Coco M. Giving you guys tips, lessons and teachings on everything spirituality. Okay, so for those of you guys who are new to my channel, um, welcome and please like and subscribe to this channel if you like the content that we have here. And for those of you guys who are regulars, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you guys. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be leaving my number on the top. And just a reminder, this number is actually for consultation bookings only. So if you have questions kindly leave your questions on the comment section so i will be able to answer the question right there and there or put it on the next q a video that we'll be having or we'll be doing very soon right um so yeah that is pretty much all the announcements i have anyways um today i wanted to talk about the imbeleko ceremony or ritual rant so i'm gonna be focusing on the imbeleko ceremony for children but bear in mind this is a ceremony that can also be done for adults as well okay so what the imbeleko ceremony is is that the imbeleko ceremony is a ceremony performed for the main purpose of introducing a child or a person to their ancestors name it is done on the 10th day of, of which the child is born strictly on the 10th day again okay. allowing the ancestors from both sides of the family to acknowledge this child and bring prosperity in the child's life and future not only does this introduce the baby to the ancestors but also allows smooth smooth pathways in other rituals that the child will have to go through in their life growing up now so just to clarify some of the things that i mentioned here especially this part it is actually that not only that to introduce the child to the ancestors but to allow smooth pathways in certain traditional rituals that this child will go through while growing up understand that we as african people or yeah african people there are so many rituals that a child has to go through when they're growing up when they're growing up and yes some of these rituals are not done because of the main fact jari we have drifted away from tradition a bit ne? here and there but one thing you know what this ritual does is that the imbeleko rituals sort of like open source for all these other ceremonies let's say for example there are certain rituals that you want your child to go through so sort of like we are coming and stuff like that it allows these rituals to actually go smooth safe it allows this child to actually be able to go through this ritual without any issues and also another thing it does which allows which is like why this ritual is done is to allow the ancestors to work together okay because one of the major issues that people encounter these days ancestors from the mother's side and the father's side are not working together they fight each other you find the ancestors fighting each other and you'd also find the ancestors fighting over this particular person so this ritual is actually one of the major rituals to actually avoid this kind of thing from happening it allows the both the maternal and the paternal ancestors to coexist with each other in the child's life so they will not have any issues in the near future with certain rituals or just life in general at all because of the fact that for people that have went through this whole scenario of having the ancestors fight over you you will understand how difficult and how hard it makes certain things like certain traditional processes to be for you when you're performing them and whatnot right um so basically in the leg of ritual is a kosa ritual ne? but lona given the fact that is a kosa ritual this is the kind of ritual that is actually like put down in books and whatnot but that doesn't mean that it's not done in other trad african cultures because one thing that i'm aware of is that yes it is done in my culture even though for us it is not really called the imbeleko ritual i don't really know what is called in soto but it is done in other rituals so if you are aware of this ritual and what is called in your african culture or africa or language <laughs> please feel free to give me the translation for it or in the comment section there eh? so as much as it is a closer ritual even other cultures actually perform this ritual and they describe it as a an act of giving birth okay so that is the english description of the imbeleko ritual it's an act of giving birth né? and the reason why they call it an act of giving birth because it is an act way long what a newborn child is being brought into the world is being introduced to the world this is where my long the ancestors are invited the ancestors will then be able to acknowledge the child this is where my long word, the child's about to lead their life or rather have their life or journey or purpose in life 
mapped out for them in a sense, right? So that is why they're calling it the act of giving birth. Man. For So for a newborn baby, when the umbilical ritual is performed, the umbilical cord is removed from the child and it is then buried in the spiritual ground. So this is something that is done in a lot of cultures and even in my culture, it is done. Man. And one of the major reasons why this process is done, it is said it is done in order to protect the child from witchcraft and, be, and bring clarity in the spiritual path the child may need to undertake once he or she has grown okay so in turn what this means is that through this process the child will be brought into the ancestral lineage in the family the child will be able to be recorded in the ancestral lineage of the family which allows the lineages from both sides of the family to actually know this particular child properly now, when performing the ceremony the sacrificial goat is slaughtered as a sign of showing respect to the ancestors of the child and is also to urge them to protect the child and guide the child in their spiritual and divorce in life. Nay, during the slaughtering process, the elders are required to speak to their ancestors on behalf of the parents of the child as for the for on behalf of the parents of the child for the child's well-being. Nay, and <sighs> So what that means is that through this process, the child is brought into the lineage of the family, okay? And another thing about the Imbeloko ceremony né, is that a, is, is, a goat is slaughtered during this ceremony. And this sacrificial goat is slaughtered as a sign of showing respect to the child's ancestors. Né, and also to ask them to protect and guide this child in their life and divorce and whatnot. So during this ceremony and the slaughtering of the goat, the parents are not the ones who are supposed to speak. Meaning what the parents are not the ones who will patla. Only the elders will be the one that speak to their ancestors on behalf of this particular child may and more longer they'll be speaking with their ancestors on behalf of the child um, they'll be speaking to the ancestors on behalf of the parents of the child they will actually emphasize on things of uh, like sort of like acceptance more longer they're asking the ancestors to accept the child as their bloodline and um, as one of their own they're gonna ask for guidance in the child's life so this child is able to have a clear life be able to be aware of the spiritual path or the path in which this child is given by their ancestors and whatnot né? and also they're gonna be emphasizing protection more longer they're gonna be asking for protection for this child who Worry. even if anyone practices witchcraft that witchcraft does not work the ancestors are able to fight off whatever dark magic that is sent to the child whenever it is sent to a child man. so once the slaughtering is done the mother is given is supposed to eat the meat in front of her <clears throat> so once the slaughtering is done the mother is supposed to eat the meat of the front leg of the goat so that is just how it's done then this is like practically processes of how it's done so the mother will eat the front leg of the goat and then the goat is skinned and the skin of the goat is regarded as a sacred item ne? whereby this child is supposed to sleep with the skin of the goat on a daily basis ne? this child when they're sleeping with the skin of the goat since it's a sacred item it is something that brings the child closer to their ancestors and what it is believed is that the skin of this goat is actually going to protect the child from whatever like is sent to this particular child and whatnot. Moi long worrying. In the future, if the child actually sleeps with the with the thingy with the skin of the goat, moi long or this child needs clarity or this child is confused about certain things. It will allow the ancestors to actually come forth and actually guide the child and speak to the child and give them clarity on certain things that this child needs clarity on. Okay, and also to help in terms of hardship. So meaning, whenever you as a person or the child is going through a very hard time in love in life, ne? <laughs> whenever the child is going through a very hard time in life, the child. Is is required to sleep with the with the thingy with the skin of that goat and what will then happen is that the ancestors will be able to intervene on whatever hardships there is in this child's life and help fix this particular problems as this that this child may be encountering in this particular time and moment name so if the ceremonies is not done a boy child will not be able or allowed to go to the bush to do the traditional circumcision process that will lead to manhood Okay, that is why it is said that this ceremony is done so the child will be able to have a smooth sailing path in sort of like certain traditional like path 
like said traditional rituals ne ke mo ileng gore for a child that is not like that does not have this ceremony ne then this child will not be able or be allowed to go to the bush for the traditional circumcision ceremony to allow them to be men or to introduce them to manhood and a girl child will never get married so for people by ileng gore in their culture ne they are invested in the impeloko ritual and understand that is done differently everywhere so this part is mainly like most of these things are done by Kosa people so you'd find out as a Kosa woman you were born but this ceremony was not done for you so you'd find out it's very difficult for you to actually get married um get a partner settle down have children those are things you are feeling in terms of doing and this is my long with you are not being given the blessings from the ancestors so meaning with this ritual is also there to allow you or help you get blessings from the ancestors in your life so you can be able to progress in certain things that you want as a person meaning what when you're a parent and you have a child and your culture or your tradition is actually requiring the child to go through these ceremonies but this child or you as a parent do not help help this child go through these particular processes and rituals and ceremonies then in turn you will be causing a lot of blockages or bad luck for your child my long word they will not be able to achieve or get certain things in their future because those are things that were not done for them anyways that is pretty much it on the embeleko ceremony that is pretty much what i know um if there's anything you guys feel like i left out feel free to leave it on the comment section and um yeah i'll see you guys next week and hopefully by then when i see you guys soon my voice will be back because i'm really struggling to speak today but anyways i hope you guys understood what i was talking about and i hope you guys understood the embellic of ritual in details and i hope it assists most of you guys who are actually in traditional cultures the embellic of ritual is done step by step like i had explained here throughout this entire video anyways thank you guys for watching have a beautiful one to bye bye <laughs> I'm